Hey YouTube friends, today we want to talk about we want to talk about e-bike battery maintenance. How to get the most life out of this battery and have it last the longest amount of time that it is reasonably possible. <laughs> just watch along as we talk a little bit about battery maintenance. And um, so I just was going to read to you just a little bit what um, my manual says and then let's just talk a little bit about lithium ion technology. My manual says that I should first plug the charger into the battery and then into the wall. And then when it's done charging, I should unplug it from the wall and then the battery. So the takeaway is that they don't seem to want me to unplug the cable from the battery while there's power going through it. And that's fair enough. Maybe there will be a little bit of an arc and it would wear down the, um, you know, the sparking could cause some corrosion on the contacts. Or maybe it's jarring to the circuit, I don't know. But anyway, that's fair enough. And so the little device that we're going to look at today, if we can see it, I uh, brought, got myself, and anyone will do, but a little timer that what I was looking for was a timer that would, uh, I could set it for 15 minutes, 2 hours, 4 hours, and then it would just shut off and stay off. Um, going back to the, um, uh, the charger, like, Hopefully the charger is smart enough to not overcharge my bike, but they seem to think that it's important to un uh, to unplug it when it's done and to um, not charge unattended. <laughs> so whatever, this is going to help that I know that it's going to get no more than four hours or two hours or six hours or whatever I set it for. When you buy anything that plugs into the wall, you want to make sure that it has the CSA approval. And in this case, it has the ETL with the little C or the little UL, depending which country you live in. Let's talk about winter storage. So um, the manual says during winter storage that we should um, park the bike with a 50% or less, but anyway, around 50% battery level. And so that will allow you to periodically charge it during the winter, once every month. Anytime you store the bike for more than one month, they want me to do they want us to do this. So fair enough. So back to the little timer. This guy's gonna be able to do that if we have to park the bike for more than one month. And they also add there, this process will make sure that your battery does not stay at a specific rate of charge for long periods of time. So that's fair enough. I don't know if uh, lithium ion have memory problems, but you know, it, it surely won't hurt. <laughs> if you think you think of all the cells that is in the battery, how many cells make up this battery? They're all stacked in there sideways in here. And any one of those batteries might be coming dis a little bit more discharged than the others. And um, and hopefully that ha doesn't happen, but over time they are imbalances I'm sure and so that little periodic charge might take care of the one cell that's a little bit more discharged than the others that it doesn't get down to that very low charge rate and um, while I have this here I was going to show you if I hit the battery there I have a blue light now this particular battery has a red green and blue lights on it red is low charge me now and green is less than 50 percent and blue is anything over 50 percent so if your battery is like that that can help you know when you're down to that 50 percent let's just talk a little bit about lithium-ion batteries so lithium-ion batteries have been around for quite some time now but you know they're one of our newer battery technologies i'm sure and lithium-ion has three enemies and those enemies R1 heat heat high heat is very bad they will explode uh, and deep discharge will destroy your battery or probably like I said any one of the cells in there could get deep charged more than the others if they get out of um, balanced if they're out of balance and uh, overcharge so the three enemies of lithium ion are undercharge overcharge and heat so anything we can do to solve any of those, or to mitigate, to lessen any of those things is, is the thing to do. And I don't know the ramifications of charging when they're cold. I read online you're not supposed to charge them when they're cold and freezing. And I suspect if you charge this battery 
While it's very cold, you'll notice that if you bring a cold battery in from outside, it actually regains some of its energy. And maybe if you charge it in the cold and then it warms up, it could actually go into an overcharged state. I'm just guessing, hypothesizing, but that might be why they don't want you to do that. Anyway, um, and so we can put, um, you know, some insulation around the battery when we're riding in the winter. They say to shade it in the summer, probably particularly when you're charging, not to charge in open sun because there you're, you would be increasing the chances of hitting a too high of a temperature. My battery sits on top of the frame, so my battery is going to be actually facing into the sun. So I'm not sure uh, if I'm supposed to ride with a, with a shade on it while, it while I'm riding. <laughs> that I do not know. But anyway, I do know we want to protect it from heat, from deep discharge, and from overcharging. And the deep discharge is up to us that we charge our battery in time uh, and don't run it down to nothing. Uh, save always a little bit in the bottom of the cell. And uh, overcharging if the battery is charged don't unplug it and plug it back in to try to see if it'll charge again because often it will a little bit and that might be asking for that opportunity where you get into an overcharge situation as the charger is trying to determine the status of the battery okay so here's another idea for extending the life of your battery they claim we only have so many charges in our e-batteries I forgot what the number was 750 but you know those that's probably 750 full charges I'm not sure and there's other, all kinds of other things that um, make that affect the life of the battery and so one of them is ch is storing the battery when it's totally full when the battery is 100% full um, you have this maximum voltage potential difference between the positive and the minus and apparently that can wear down stuff inside of the battery so they don't want us to chart to store these batteries at 100 percent they want us to store them at 50 percent or so and then periodically charge them as we said earlier so the recommendation is just to charge the battery kind of right before you want to use it and if it's sitting around 70 percent 60 65% that's great right throw it on the charger for a couple hours before you go out unless you had a very early morning ride then I would have it charged <laughs> uh, so uh, some other um, strategies for maintaining or for getting the most life out of the battery is I've read online is that you don't need to charge it to 100% all the time you can imagine when I'm charging this battery that it's going to get most of its charge in in the beginning like say I had a complete charge for four for five hours you know say in three hours and four hours it's gonna be really all the way charged basically and then it's just gonna go into that fine tuning um, getting the last little bit into it and if you need that last little bit right then you want a fully charged battery but very often you're just gonna run town or you're not going to like totally max out the kilometers you need out of the battery and we might in fact get more life out of the battery if we're running it a, uh, charging it to 90 percent 95 percent right but then for sure every once in a while you want to charge the battery till your charger goes green and it is 100 percent charged um, for the purpose that if it's I don't know if our chargers do that but if it, the batteries are going to be more balanced the charge balance is going to even out so every single little cell in here is all um, equally charged uh, that would be re it's recommended to do that every so often but not every day every day maybe 90 percent 95 percent is good enough and uh, you don't need to wait the whole five hours uh, before you can go riding okay just wanted to add that to our video okay I want to say thanks for watching this video if you liked it if it helps you please like and subscribe it really helps my channel and um, maybe that'll help you if you were wondering how to go about if you were following your manual and you're wonder, wondering about how to go about just getting that 15 minute charge every so often you can do that um, because they claim that just leaving the battery for months you stand a, ch a risk of damaging the battery such that it will never recover and you'll have to buy a new one and these suckers 
are about 700 bucks. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.